today's video, we're looking at a brand new battery powered lawnmower that claims it's got as much power as a gas equivalent. This is the Works Nitro 80 volt lawnmower. Now, Works has made other mowers in the past, but this one is the most powerful model they've ever produced. I am going to show you the features that make this mower so unusual, but I want to focus on how this thing actually cuts. And I also want to see what kind of a job it can do mulching. This thing is the true three-way mower, meaning you can mulch, bag, or even do side discharge. There's no gasoline involved with this mower. It uses four 20 volt batteries. And when you put all those together, that gives you the 80 volt power that it runs on. But it's also pretty cool how you can store it. These handles just fold forward and this allows you to tilt the mower upright. This is perfect if you're going to store it in a garage and because there's no gas involved you don't ever have to worry about anything leaking out. Adjusting your cutting height on this mower could not be easier. It's done with just a single hand. You squeeze that handle and you lift the mower up or lower closer to the ground to get it exactly where you want. They've got a built-in gauge there. Now that isn't in inches but it does give you an idea of where you're going to be cutting your grass at. And finally, somebody figured out how to switch between bagging and mulching in just a single step. Now, Honda's had this on their mower for years, but I figured they had some type of a patent because you just didn't see it anywhere else. Now, you just throw that lever and you can switch between the bag and mulching anytime you want. Inside discharge is built right into this machine. You just flip up the door, insert the chute, and now you're ready to pretend you're an old timer like me. But this is actually really useful if you're cutting super long grass because it uses all the mower's power to just shoot the grass right out the side. The build quality of this thing is surprisingly good. The 21 inch deck is completely made of steel. The frame of the bagger is also steel and even these tires are actually rubber. This mower is run at 80 volts, but it's done by using four 20 volt batteries. Now this is good because other works tools use these batteries so you could use them for something else. Another feature that's pretty unusual is you can remove the entire battery assembly. And I don't just mean removing the batteries themselves. If you unplug this cord and push one button, all of these batteries come out along with the electronics. Now this could be handy if you want to bring it inside for the winter so you can keep those batteries warm but the real reason is they're going to be coming out with other tools and this battery module is going to connect to them. The two biggest reasons you might choose a battery powered mower is because they have a really low amount of noise and because they start up instantly because you're essentially just turning that motor on. But you do have to follow the startup sequence. You're going to press that orange button then squeeze the black handle and that engages the blade. You can also turn the headlight on at this point but if you squeeze that orange handle you're going to activate the self propel function. Now that mower can move forward on its own and it's going to make it a lot easier on you. It's also got a built in speed control so you can set it exactly where you want. For my first test, I set the mower to its lowest cutting height and just started cutting my front lawn. Now it's still early in the season, so there's a lot of junk on the lawn and I haven't dethatched yet. Once I was finished cutting the grass, I noticed a couple of things. The first was the lawn was looking really good. Now because it is early spring, the grass wasn't particularly long, but it did a good job cutting it. It looked even and overall I'd say I was really pleased with the result. And you might be wondering how much lawn you can mow with those batteries. Well, the answer is it's going to depend. This thing actually adjusts itself depending on the height of your grass. I cut this entire front lawn and I didn't even use one bar off any of the batteries. I'd say this machine should work on any type of lawn that you'd normally use a push mower, something about 12,000 square feet of lawn or less. Another nice benefit to being able to flip up this machine is the fact you can get at the blade. No gasoline to spill, just flip it up on its stand and now you can easily change that blade or sharpen it or just clean the bottom of the deck. You get a few shots of like the, yeah. the before and after part on the ground. Yeah. This looks really good and this was the mulch mode. Normally when it's time to recharge any battery mower, you've got to take all the batteries out and put them in a charger. But works out a better idea. You just plug a power cord right into the side of the module. You don't have any bricks, nothing else to lose. This is going to be a lot easier. And if you watch my battery and solar generator reviews, you know I'm a big fan of EcoFlow because they got you rid of those power bricks altogether. Now I wanted to test out the mulching ability of the mower. Now this is a really popular request, especially if you're in the Northeast and you've got leaves, pine needles, anything you want to clean up. As it passed over the leaves the first time, it did a pretty good job cutting them up. You can clearly see that they're still there. Now for many people this might be enough, but I wanted to go back a second time to see what kind of a job it could do. The second pass definitely made a big difference. And you've got to remember just a few years ago, battery mowers like this couldn't really mulch at all. If you're going to be mulching up leaves, a battery mower might not be the best choice. I'd recommend using the bagging mode to make sure that you're completely getting them up. I'd recommend using the mulching mode on this mower if you're going to be cutting grass on a regular basis and you don't want a bag. Now I did use the mulching mode on my front yard, but because the grass wasn't long, I really didn't feel that like I could give it a solid test. But based on what I saw here with the leaves, I think if you're using this for mulching grass, it would do a really good job. 
Works also offers a 40 volt version of the same mower, but when I looked at the reviews, many people thought it was underpowered. So I think by coming up with this 80 volt version, this is definitely addressing the problem that people wanted to see. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.